Chapter 328. Sun Angel, T.L. by Bakelson. In fact, the angelic raiment was a divine item connected to the God of Angels' life. Even though it could recover after being broken, it was still an enormous injury to the God of Angels itself. After this attack, Chen Rinchu's strength sharply declined by 90%, failure meant risking her life. Moreover, within three days, her strength could only reach 10%. If at this moment, Tang San disregarded everything to launch the Sun of the Sea, Chen Rinchu's all-out attack would only target his body, and she would inevitably die by Tang San's hands. However, it was basically impossible for Tang San to dodge Chen Rinchu's all-out attack. The final result would very likely be both dying together. Chen Rinchu had waited so long, waited for this opportunity. After launching this attack, she wouldn't even be able to stay flying on her own, and would go tumbling to the ground, pouring her last strength into her voice, her full divine sense breaking out. She shouted towards Jolling Pass. People of the Spirit Empire, leave Jolling Pass, retreat. Compared to Tang San, she was of course even more reluctant to part with practically all of the Spirit Empire's strength. The Spirit Master casualties already exceeded 80%. It was impossible to hold Jolling Pass anymore. She also wondered if she even had the strength remaining to dispel the poison. What she could do now was only hope to spare some embers of the Spirit Empire. Her heart was already set. The next moment she might be swallowed by Tang San's attack. However, the attack Chen Rinshu anticipated never came. Her body fell straight towards Jolling Pass. Chen Rinshu barely managed to turn herself around. He didn't attack me. Why? She absolutely didn't believe that Tang San could dodge her last attack. Actually, Chen Rinchu still planned to tie Tang San up a while longer, looking for an even better opportunity. Her move was also inspired by Tang San's great Samaro hammering detonation. However, she was injured by Tang San in one exchange, and seeing him charge over, she knew that if she didn't act, she might never have the chance. So she unleashed her offensive regardless of everything, erupting with all her divine power and divine raiment, condensing it with the true sunfire. True, Tang San couldn't possibly dodge Chen Rinchu's attack, facing the sun angel that was turning back from red to gold in the air, with temperature reaching an extremely terrifying degree. Tang San smiled. He had so far never agreed to meet Chen Rinchu head on. Wasn't that to guard against her dragging him to death? How could he make such a mistake now? Within the resounding explosion, Chen Rinchu incredulously saw Tang San's body actually shatter in the air. Or to be more precise, you see God's raiment shatter, but not completely exploding into energy like her angelic raiment did, but rather break off piece by piece. Then, reassembling, Tang San's body turned into a ray of blue light, becoming a part of this combination. A brand new sea god trident appeared in the air, more than twice as large as before. The original blue light had disappeared, becoming the purest golden color. Yes, this was the true sea god's divine weapon, the golden trident's original appearance, body and weapon unity, the big dipper turns and stars move, the golden 13 halberd's final form. A speck of resplendent golden light abruptly burst from the tip of the golden trident's main blade, cutting violently towards that sun angel in the sky. Just as the sun angel's scorching energy enveloped it, this golden trident turned, rolled, swung. The three simplest, but also the most effective movements. The sun angel was wrapped up by the strange golden light and compressed into a ball, then instantly tossed out, even higher into the sky. The next moment, in the distant sky, a layer of golden and red light instantly made the entire sky change color. Boom! Chen Rinchu smashed heavily onto the wall. Her fall had already drawn the attention of the powers of both sides below, and due to the unconfirmed circumstances of the situation, Tang Hao promptly ordered the retreat. After all, the state of the battle was already irreversible. It wasn't necessary to corner the enemy. Amidst a violent explosion, the powers of both sides immediately broke off the battle, and the Heaven Do Empire's side retreated off Jolling Pass, falling 10,000 kilometers. What a terrifying force of impact! Before Chen Rinchu had even hit, Golden Crocodile Duo saw the angelic raiment was missing, and radiating a reddish golden light. It was very difficult for Chen Rinchu to control her body. The second priest had given his life to Spirit Hall. Now he smashed his chest with both fists, making his whole body instantly expand. His skin turning completely blood red. With a loud explosion, he exploded. Luckily, Tang Hao had quickly ordered the retreat and wasn't affected by this peak Duo's suicide bombing. Suicide bombing. A massive blood mist burst out in the air, and Chen Rinchu felt herself being buoyed by a great force, then smashed heavily into the top of the wall. Despite Golden Crocodile Duo giving his life to support it, this strike still smashed out a large hole in the walls. Chen Rinchu was, after all, a god. At a time like this, with Golden Crocodile Duo's support, she'd already caught a breath. This violent collision was nothing to her. Intense grief flooded her heart. Her conviction of certain death suddenly disappeared. She remembered that even just for Golden Crocodile Duo, she couldn't die like this. Bouncing to her feet, she yelled, "Retreat!" Only four now remained of the six grand priests, and another two title Duo level powers had been killed earlier. Only six remaining. The priests quickly gathered and dashed into Jolling Pass with Chen Rinchu. Voices of retreat also swiftly spread through all of Jolling Pass. In the sky, the golden trident broke apart. Tang San returning, a tired paleness flashed across his face. Even though he'd relied on his already prepared golden thirteen halberds final form to resolve Chen Rinchu's life strike, he was still considerably exhausted. The sea god eight wings on his back had already become completely blue, frantically absorbing the energy of the ocean, adjusting his divine power. Tang San then descended, relying on his god level purple demon eye. He just saw Chen Rinchu and the spirit empire powers quickly retreat. Want to leave like this? Tang San gave a cold snort. Even though his divine power was quite exhausted, his recovery was also extremely fast. Swinging the sea god trident, a millennial space launched. Enormous pressure suddenly appearing behind her. Chen Rinchu clenched her silvery teeth. In the sunshine, she just managed to maintain her divine power, but she very clearly understood that if Tang San pursued her now, she basically couldn't run. Just at this moment, the effect of Spirit Hall's years of experience showed itself. The fourth and fifth priest brothers roared simultaneously, turning around, their spirits instantly exploding, spreading all the energy in the air. Within a loud explosion, they exploded into two clouds of blood mist. Golden light clouds burst in midair, the power of millennial space consuming the two priests' detonation energy in practically an instant. However, their sacrifice still gave Chen Rinchu a certain time to escape. The might of millennial space, of course, wasn't so easily dissolved. Three of the escaping title duo were also drawn into it, directly exploding into blood mist, including the priests. With this attack, half of the ten title duo level powers were gone. But Tang San didn't keep pursuing. If he kept attacking now, Chen Rinchu wouldn't stand a chance. Nothing would remain for her but death. However, at the same time as he launched this millennial space, Tang San clearly saw how an entire third of the range of Jolling Pass was influenced by green. With every second, thousands of lives were lost within. Retreat! There were more than half a million men within this enormous fort. How could they retreat at just the word? Corpse after corpse constantly exploded with mist, even starting to spread outside the walls. Tang San couldn't help sighing. Chen Rinchu, I'll let you live a moment longer. It seemed it seemed to Tang San that the Spirit Empire no longer had a chance to make a comeback. Jolling Pass was what it was, and he had seriously injured Chen Rinchu. The angelic raiment definitely couldn't be restored quickly. In her current state, it was impossible to hide her divine sense from his search. He first deal with the danger of the poison in front of him before going to chase her. His kind heart as well as control over the situation made Tang San temporarily set aside chasing Chen Rinchu, but he didn't know that his kindness in this moment would bring him enormous danger. Controlling himself to gloat over the walls of Jolling Pass, Tang San glanced somewhat helplessly at Poison Dulo, who had already returned to his original position with a dull expression. Oh, old freak, you are the one who decided the outcome of this battle. Maybe even you didn't expect it to be like this. As for the aftermath, leave it to me. Floating in the air, blossoming with sapphire light immediately made Tang San the focal point of the entire
Problem Tang San couldn't solve. Even the Heaven Do Emperor Shui Bang felt such zealous worship, let alone the common soldiers. See, God, long, live. See, God, long, live. Everyone knew that the winner of this battle was already decided. The Spirit Empire no longer had the strength to counter attack. Even though it couldn't be called effortless, the entire Heaven Do army still hadn't been thrown into the battlefield before it was already over. People had only one life. Who wouldn't be excited if they could win without risking it? The Rhombic Gem and the Sea God Headband brightened, flashing like a point burning with Tang San's ocean power. The Sea God's heart on the Sea God Trident, as well as the Whirlpool Gem on the Sea God Chest armor brightened at the same time. As Tang San raised the Sea God Trident above his head, the light of these three gems spun into one straight line in the air. Surging blue light quickly condensed into a hundred meter diameter giant blue whirlpool soaring towards the sky with him as the center. The sky previously bright with sunshine instantly darkened, and vast expanses of black clouds formed above dulling parts of the speed visible to the naked eye. The atmosphere also became oppressive. When large drops of rain began to fall from the sky, they were still just sporadic, but very soon it turned into a downpour, roaring down on dulling pass, just what is called fire and flood have no mercy. Even though the jade phosphor serpent poison was strong, under this downpour the green mist immediately weakened, gradually disappearing in the rain. A faint blue light fell from the sky, enveloping all of Jolling Pass. Tang San's voice, flat but filled with incomparably dignity echoed. People of the spirit empire in Jolling Pass, surrender where you stand and your lives can be spared. Intent to resist, kill without pardon, plan to escape, kill without pardon. Nobody would doubt Tang San's words. At this moment, none of the spirit empire soldiers that still hadn't escaped Jolling Pass could leave anymore. A blue water barrier replaced the wall on the other side, completely blocking their way out. As for the Heaven Do army side, the previous toxin was the previous toxin was too terrifying, who dared approach it? Besides, what if they could leave Jolling Pass on that side? The million men's strong Heaven Do army was there. After speaking, Tang San pointed the Sea God Trident down, and the downpour washed the poison such that it didn't flow towards the cowering defenders, but rather towards the moat outside. At this time, if Tang San wanted to annihilate the defenders without damage to the Heaven Do army outside, it would only be too easy. As long as he moved to rain into the troops, then Jolling Pass really would become a land of the dead. The Jade Phosphor Serpent Emperor poison really was terrifying. Once any creature was poisoned, their bodies would become toxic, and even the bones would be corroded. Under this heavy rain, not even one corpse appeared, clearly showing how terrifying it was. Guided by the Sea God's power, the rain scrubbed every corner around the Jolling Fortress. The toxin feared water. This was clear and easy to see. Of course, after being scrubbed away, the moat water with the poison gathered was also filled with Jade Phosphor Emperor poison. Seeing that the rain was more or less done, Tang San swung his left hand once again, and a ray of blue light shot to the sky. The black clouds were parted by the light, and a ray of sunshine hit the earth through the crack. Moreover, the crack expanded quickly, warm sunshine again, descending on the soldiers on both sides. And not one drop of rainwater in the moat was exposed, just filling that vast and deep moat. The dark green river water was gave people an intimidating feeling. Everyone knew that this had already become a river of death. Tang San's actions, of course, wouldn't end here. The sea god tried to shun once again, and instantly, the water in the moat rose towards the sky like a giant wave, curling up and flowing towards Tang San like a silver river. The enormous stream revolved around Tang San, forming a giant ring. In the entire moat, not one drop of water remained, and all of the poison was brought into the air with the rainwater. In the sunshine, the giant water ring revolved around Tang San, the bizarre scene astounding the soldiers of both sides below. A miracle. Yes, this was unquestionably a miracle. As it spun violently, threads of blue water vapor began to split off from the stream, all pure water element, turning into fine misty rain that fell on the earth. But the green in the water grew denser and denser, from the initial faint jade color to something like ink. Without question, this was the jade phosphor serpent emperor poison that had taken the lives of tens of thousands. As the water had been reduced a thousandfold, already the color of ink, Tang San raised his right hand, lightly touching the main blade of the sea god trident to it, with a brittle ding sound, a sharp and clear sound that spread to every corner of the battlefield. A golden spark shot out and leapt into the inky poison. Boom, the black ink turned into a giant ring of fire, led into the air by the sea god trident, all the poison also quietly dissipating in the flame. Nobody knew who was the first to cheer, but the heaven army also seemed to flame by the spark. Cheers and voices boiling with excitement echoed over the field. Simultaneous cheers unexpectedly also resounded from within Pass. The soldiers inside actually included surviving spirit hole spirit masters that hadn't been able to escape, and they also cheer the poison also cheer the poison disappearing. They were mostly ordinary people, and not spirit hole zealots. They didn't have any strong faith. Life was most valuable to them, and they firmly believed what Tang San said before. That was a god. Would a god lie to them? He said he wouldn't kill them, so what would they plot? In a divine battle like this, weren't they just looking to die? After all, the impression Chen Rinshu had left in the hearts of the Spirit Empire troops was still too brief. The victor is king, the loser a bandit. The moment she was defeated, she had already lost the position as god to these soldiers, and the image of Tang San who could use his sea god power to completely remove the Jade Phosphor Serpent poison that would have turned Dolin Pass into a land of the dead was already deeply imprinted into their hearts. At this moment, how could they still think of fighting? Clang, the first weapon was thrown to the ground. Next, the same sound quickly spread like the rain. The Spirit Empire soldiers began to put down the weapons they held one after another, kneeling on the ground. Voices of surrender rose and fell. Tang San nodded with satisfaction, speaking towards the Heaven Do Army. Your Majesty, I'll leave Jolling Pass to you while I go pursue Chen Rinshu, and completely uproot the last hope of the Spirit Empire. Shui Bang answered Gladly. Farewell, Imperial Tutor. I will await your good news in Jolling Pass. Towards Tang San, he didn't even use the royal we. Not so long ago, the title Imperial Tutor was something he spoke with difficulty, more in order to recruit Tang San. But at this moment, he used it while feeling only infinite honor. A god as a tutor, even if he was emperor, was still the highest honor to Shui Bang. A shooting star with a dazzling tail of flame disappeared in blue light, gradually fading ten breaths after Tang San was gone. Shui Bang's expression was filled with unprecedented radiance, pointing the Imperial Sword forward. Pass on my orders. Advance into Jolling Pass. The Lord Sea God commanded that those who surrender be spared, those with courage to resist, killed without pardon. At Shui Bang's orders, the already long prepared Heaven Do army charged victoriously into Jolling Pass. They now met yet another bloodless victory for the Heaven Do Empire, leaving the armies to their own devices. After completely expelling the Jade Phosphor Serpent Emperor Poison, Tang San immediately in the direction Chen Rinshu escaped was guided by his divine sense. Dealing with the poison just now had wasted quite a bit of time, and even though Chen Rinshu was seriously wounded, with barely a tenth of her strength, this much time was still enough for her to run a very long distance. Tang San didn't want to give the Spirit Empire any more chances. If Chen Rinshu was allowed to recover, she would still be a huge headache. After all, she was a god-level power. If she didn't persist with her conviction and fought a guerrilla war against the Heaven Do Army, she would become an enormous threat. He had to use this opportunity to completely erase this threat. This battle would decide the true victor, and the Spirit Empire would also lose their last embers. As for Baby Dong, who returned to Spirit City, she was no longer in Tang San's eyes. Tang San very soon saw the Spirit Empire soldiers escaping Jolling Pass like stray dogs. These had all escaped Jolling Pass at the first moment, but still hadn't run far. In fact, the people who could escape made up less than a fifth of the defenders at Jolling Pass, and the number of Spirit Masters was even more pathetically small. At most 2,000 people, the terrifying effect of Dugu Bo's Jade Foster. Bo's Jade Foster Serpent Emperor Poison
time he also lost track of the five powers escaping with her, losing track of Chen Rinshu was still a bit reasonable, as she might have some peculiar controllability with her divine sense, but those title illusions would be untraceable. Tang San inwardly couldn't help feeling like he let the tiger back into the mountain. Of course he wouldn't give up like this. Moving at top speed, his divine sense spread to even larger ranges, starting to search for any traces of Chen Rinshu within a thousand li. As for the spirit empire soldiers that were fleeing Doling Pass, Tang San naturally wouldn't do anything to them. At his level, he couldn't possibly absurdly start killing these ordinary humans. To Tang San, this battle was already over. He just didn't want Chen Rinshu to cause the Heaven Do Empire trouble in the future. In fact, even if Chen Rinshu recovered her strength, she would still never be his match. Tang San kept searching for two hours. This was already quite a considerable period of time to a god. When he didn't get any results in all this time, Tang San knew that he might not be able to find Chen Rinshu. In a stifled mood, he again returned to the fortress at Jolin Pass. No matter what, after the today's victory, the Spirit Empire had already lost their basic defenses. The remaining war would become a lot simpler. If she still wanted to give the Spirit Empire some chance, then she would inevitably appear in the next battle. If he could defeat her once, he could defeat her twice. When Tang San returned to Jolin Pass, the Heaven Do Army had already completely taken control over the Spirit Empire's most important fortification. Jolin Pass really was an imposing structure. More than 500,000 of the million troops had entered Tai Fort, and it still didn't feel crowded. The Spirit Empire surrendered soldiers and Spirit Masters were under guard for the moment. Their weapons selected, as Tang San originally promised, those who surrendered were spared, and only a small fraction who were brave enough to resist were directly killed by the Heaven Do Army. All of Jolin Pass had already become part of the Heaven Do Empire, and cheering voices rose and fell. Even the most ordinary soldier knew that, even though they had only overcome one Spirit Empire fortification, this meant the war was nearly over. When when Tang San headed back, in order not to make the soldiers too excited and enthusiastic, he quietly withdrew his sea god raiment before entering the pass, replacing it with ordinary clothes. Guided by his divine sense, he directly found the marshal's office in Jolin Pass. Just now, the Heaven Do Army's commanding officers and spirit master powers were gathered here. Entering the office, Tang San immediately felt an intense, excited mood. Shielded by the sea god's power, he easily hid himself. As long as he didn't wish for it, nobody could see him. This was the basic stealth ability of the original sea god's heart. Unless it was god-level divine sense, he could seem like he didn't even exist in this world anytime he wanted. The conference hall in the marshal's office was now like a magpie's nest taken by turtle doves. Shui Bang was in charge. This Heaven Do Imperial Majesty practically hadn't stopped smiling ever since Tang San appeared on the battlefield. Right now, Marshal Ji Long wasn't at his side, just taking charge of the army outside, taking complete control over Jolin pass, but the spirit master's mission was already complete, as the vital contributors to the battle, the Shrek Six Devils, Tang Hao, Tang Xiao, Grandmaster, Flender, Poison Duluo and others were now gathered here. Senior Dugu, this result is thanks to you, your poison enormously reduced the casualties in the army, but still directly collapsed the enemy's morale. In terms of contribution, besides Grandmaster, you should be at the top. Shui Beng spoke sincerely to Dugu Bo, they all knew that Tang San's god level power naturally wouldn't count as contribution. In fact, Dugu Bo's contribution to this battle wasn't any less than Tang San. Dugu Bo smiled wryly, your majesty, this old man really is too embarrassed to accept the honor, what could be unleashed couldn't be retrieved, almost leading to a disaster. Luckily Tang San could deal with the poison, otherwise I might be condemned throughout history. Tang Hao laughed out loud, condemned throughout history is uncertain, but you definitely couldn't outrun the name of Butcher. Actually, it's not that bad. Most of the Spirit Empire people would be poisoned to death. We just needed to withdraw the army and let you slowly collect the poison. Jolin Pass would end up in the same hands. It would just take a bit longer. At Tang Hao's words, those military officers all looked a bit pale. Back then, there were several hundred thousand Spirit Empire people in Jolin Pass, but Grandmaster sitting next to Tang Hao nodded, hardly concealing his approval of what Tang Hao said. In terms of grudges against the Spirit Empire, Grandmaster and Tang Hao were definitely the deepest. Because of Spirit Hall back then, Tang Hao couldn't return home and didn't even see his father at the end. His wife was even sacrificed herself to save him. Twenty years of pain and resentment couldn't be erased. Even if the Spirit Empire was wiped out, Tang Hao still wouldn't even blink. Grandmaster was even more so. The Blue Lightning Tyrant Dragon Clan was directly wiped out, and he wished he could annihilate the entire Spirit Empire. Listening to Tang Hao, Dugu Bo's expression immediately improved, laughing hollowly. Clear sky door. This is up to heaven. It's my first time doing this, and even I never expected it to have such a terrifying effect. In the future, my poison won't be used on the battlefield. Shui Bang smiled. Senior Dugu need not be like this. No matter what formidable power it is, if used for justice is just, used for evil is evil. Taking a step back, if not for your poison, don't tell me any fewer would have died in storming Jolin Pass. At that time, not only would the Spirit Empire people be dead, our soldiers would also suffer disastrous casualties, very possibly in numbers even higher than the Spirit Empire soldiers. Therefore, you need not feel any guilt. No matter what is said, we've already won this battle. Honestly, I really don't know how to thank all you seniors. I can only say that no matter what all seniors request in the future, the Heaven Do Empire will support with all its strength. Tang Xiao said. Then first I'll thank your majesty. Back then our clear sky school vanished because of spirit hall, and now our strength is still meager. Using this opportunity, I hope your majesty can allow my clear sky school to re-establish itself in Heaven Do City. Shui Bang was cheerful, immediately saying, of course. Indeed what I wished for, but didn't dare request. To be able to have the clear sky school oversee Heaven Do City is my fortune, and the fortune of the whole Heaven Do Empire. Even disregarding Tang San, the clear sky school was once the world's number one sect. It's fame even higher than the seven treasure glazed tile school. Even though the clear sky school hadn't brought many people this time, the brothers Tang Xiao and Tang Hao revealed strength that amply proved their reputation as the world's number one sect wasn't fake. How could Shui Bang not be happy? Blue light flashed, and a silhouette quietly appeared in the conference hall. After the group of title duo grew nervous a moment, they quickly relaxed. Besides Tang Xiao, Tang Hao, and Grandmaster, everyone else stood up. Shui Bang reacted the fastest. He actually directly took a few steps forward and knelt on one knee, saluting. We greet the Imperial Tutor. Without a doubt, this quietly appearing blue silhouette was Tang San who had failed to pursue Chen Wenchu. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.